This is Beth Fisher and I'm here with Joe Carrillo and he's going to show me how to make eggnog. I can't claim this recipe. I got it off of NPR. I uh, read about it there and it was just so intriguing and bizarre that I had to make this. But it's uh, where you, cr you make the egg mixture and then you leave it on the shelf unrefrigerated for several weeks. Uh, so of course you got your eggs and uh, booze, which is pretty much the most important thing, and then a bit of sugar, and that's essentially the egg mixture. And once you're all done, you'll uh, create, uh, uh, you'll whip up some whipping cream, and then kind of fold the mixture together, and that's what you drink. All right, so the first thing we need to do is put six eggs into this, look, they've got a very fancy mixer here. Fantastic. All right. Eggs are cracked. Let's go to step two. Step two is to whip the heck out of the eggs on medium for about two minutes until they're nice and frothy. So the difficult part now is adding the booze mixture, right? All we're going to be doing is beating the booze into the eggs, but if you do it too quickly, then it curdles the eggs. So it should take about 15 minutes at least to add all this booze to it. So let's see what happens. We used just a little bit less rum than the recipe actually called for. We used a quarter cup instead of a third cup, and we substituted the three quarters of a cup of bourbon for brandy instead. This is very exciting. Um, you let me know if I'm going too fast. But it will all be worth it. 17 years later. Now, half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar dumped. All right, at long last, it is time for us to turn off the nog. So, let me try it right here. Well, that would be low, not off. Let's try that again. Um, the next step will be, as Joey mentioned in the beginning, we're going to funnel it into a bottle, leave the bottle with the lid half cracked, and just leave it out. We're going to leave it out. It's full of eggs, and we're going to leave it out for like a month. That'll be good. So cut to one month later after having it sit right there, right there in my cupboard for over a month. So now we make whipped cream. Use one cup of whipping cream and whip it until it's almost stiff. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter cup of sugar. Then you whip it until it becomes real whipped cream. And then add in your yummy cupboard nog mixture. The final product is very thick and some people may want to dilute it with milk. I, however, am not one of those people. After pouring it into the goblet, and yes, I think homemade eggnog should be served in a goblet, top it with some nutmeg and cinnamon and a little extra whipped cream. All right, so almost a month and a half in the making, a month and a half in my cupboard. Bottoms up. Oh my god. I can honestly say this tastes like, like a cloud of eggnog an alcoholic cloud of eggnog. Cheers. We should have this all year long. <laughs>